Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today is the day we have all been waiting for. We have three maxed tier three micro waiver prototypes down. Now, for this series, I usually drop the last prototype behind the headquarters, but the range of the microwaver would not reach, so I'm going to be putting it out in front, and we're going to see some utter destruction. It's going to be so much fun, guys. I, I can't wait for today's video. Troops, like, I don't know if Zookas stand out of range or something, but like tanks and grenadiers it might not be as cool but if you guys don't know how we do this series we drop all of our troops we flare to the headquarters so we're not going to be targeting this micro waiver we're not targeting any of the micro waivers we're going to be doing every single troop versus this so are you ready here we go now if you guys haven't seen this in action the splash damage is insane and i'm not expecting any rifleman to be able to get a hit off at, on the headquarters there's a few that did get a hit off it looks like but it's it's crazy the amount of splash damage these things put off um that was the rifleman definitely gonna be one of the weaker combinations uh, we're going to load up all heavies now. So um, I I've been waiting for ever since I got into the dev build and saw this prototype. And since we played with it on Mega Crab, I've been waiting for this episode. And it's going to be by far the coolest one of the every troop versus series. Um, and it it's just it's crazy the amount of damage it puts off and the, it just looks pretty cool also guys it looks pretty cool this is so far above the hot pot <laughs> i love this so much anyway heaviest didn't get very far at all honestly i'm expecting it to be one of the best proto troops in that we have seen in the series so i i feel like it does help having the prototype at the very front instead of behind the headquarters but now zukas are not gonna stand a chance it also doesn't help that the micro waver uh can see through smoke um so even if i drop smoke here i'm not going to because it might it, it doesn't look as cool but even if i drop smoke the troops will still die so um Oh, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Zuka's won? Oh, man. We'll say, okay, there's no way Zuka's would have won in an actual battle. Well, I mean, if you do find a, bl a blind spot, good for you. But this is kind of what Grenadiers and Tanks are going to look like. But um, Zuka's got the W, guys. Zuka's got the W. Anyway, um, like I was saying, it smoke, the microwavers can see it through smoke. And uh, later on this week, I'm going to be doing a defense log with all of these uh, nasty, nasty prototypes. I'm kind of wondering, like, how it's going to work against real players. Because, I mean, I feel like tank combinations are for sure going to win. Like, nobody's going to use warriors or nobody's going to win with warriors because it sees under smoke. Even if it didn't see any smoke under smoke, you could shock it when the warriors pop up. It would be like a hot pot. But the mere fact that you can it sees under smoke, it does damage under smoke, is pretty cool. Okay, we got tanks now. Now tanks won't be as cool, but it's still it's still a very fun. Okay, let's uh, drop these bad boys down here. I'm gonna let them get grouped up just a tad more. Drop our flare and. I'm not guessing any will step in range. Okay, a few did. Um, well, actually, quite a few are stepping in range. But will will the one deal enough damage to kill them all? No, no, it does not look like it. It was close. It would have taken out, like, all but eight tanks. So, it's it's so crazy. I'm fanboying so much about this right now. I love it. Um, just to show you guys that it does see under smoke, I'm going to... Just do one more and drop the flare right next to it. Get smoked down, get smoked down, and it will kick up here. It'll kick up here. I got worried for a second, like it, maybe it didn't see under smoke. So it does see under smoke. We're just gonna keep flaring to keep them all in the smoke and just slaughter, slaughter them all. That was fun. Okay guys, so we have medics all trained up now and the way we use medics is we drop our hero have our medics follow our hero and 
uh, have the medics heal up the hero. So, um, we're just gonna let them go. No, we, we're gonna flare to dead quarters. Um, we'll see if the medic healing power... The medics are healing up themselves just a tiny bit under what they their potential is. Um, and that's for one microwave. So, if our hero dies, our medics should be able to... I'm gonna kill off our hero here. Our hero is dead, and I'm gonna drop... I can't flare. Okay. So it looks like my medics are able to secure just a, a steady place where they can heal up and not die. And that's one microwave. Or if I could get them, if I could get them inside the other two, one more, it would just wipe out my entire army. So we're even going to kill the ones not here and just watch these guys die. Just not enough healing power and all dead. Now we have... The Grenadiers. Now I'm gonna flare to the headquarters for the Grenadiers uh, because you know Grenadiers. I, don't, I seriously don't have a preset for Grenadiers. Okay. Even if I flare to the oops. Even if I flare to the headquarters, it's probably not gonna make a difference. Like the Grenadiers, I'm expecting the Grenadiers to still stand out of range for the most part. And we're gonna drop the flare right off the bat because I want to see what the range is. Part of this is testing, part of this is just good old-fashioned fun, guys. Okay, yeah, it does, in fact, look like they hit the headquarters. But instead of letting them beat me, I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling murderous today. Let's just kill off our troops off. Oh, man, it kills them so fast, guys. So, troop combinations to take down a base that has this. Definitely nothing smoked. Because, well, it depends on the placement, but for me, I'm going to make sure my placement is nasty and our, nobody's going to be able to do any sort of smoky combination unless I take out it ahead of time. One more and drop our flare down. So I'm expecting the Scorchers to win, uh, not expecting these micro waivers to deal too much damage. Uh, yeah, I'm just expecting the Scorchers to die. Look at this. Look at that. Just the effect it puts off. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. So, what we've learned, you know, it doesn't work very well. I don't think any of those Scorchers win all three of the range. So, maybe we can get one Scorcher in it eventually. Not, not this video, but next video, I might try, like, putting every troop in all three of it at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. As for the rest of the week, guys, I want to, before I say that, I want to see how my cryoneers will work against these. Will they freeze? Nope, they're not. Nope, not enough. Okay, I was going to say, so it is slowing it down. The freezing rays are slowing down the rate it pulses, um, which is interesting. So it looks, it appears to me that like it works. Um, but as for the rest of the week, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to... Tomorrow is going to be Jimmy hitting Hammerman with all three micro micro waivers down. Um, and I believe we have... Wait. Critters left. Yeah, only critters left. And then later on this week, I'll drop a defense log showing you guys what this did. Because I'm expecting this prototype to be one of the best. Um, oh my gosh. That was instant kill. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. That was technically the episode, but we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We are going to get our tanks back up here because I'm I'm feeling the need to kill off all of the tanks. And I want them to be in a clump here. So we're going to do some handy flare work. Get them into just, you know, a nice clump. And then put them all inside all three micro waivers at the same time here we go guys here we go oh yes here we go there we go <laughs> oh man there oh they killed one dang it well too bad tanks you are not winning this you are not winning there's no way i'm gonna let my tanks win this battle there we go and i believe the zookas won also so let's uh let's get some zookas up in here what else won? We killed off the Grenadiers. That's fine. Uh, heavies lost. I believe it's just the Zookas. Oh, Scorchers. Scorchers also. We gotta, we gotta find a way to kill off all of the Scorchers. 
This should do it, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Even one microwave <laughs> can kill off a whole army of Zookas. So, maybe you shouldn't beat me next time, Zookas. And let's do Scorchers next. We'll kill off all of the Scorchers. Here we go. Fire. Fire, guys. Fire. I hope we'll be able to kill off all the Scorchers. <laughs> okay. We'll drop a flare right up here, and I need to be so handy with this shock. Like, right there. Dang it, I shocked it. Dang and I can't shock anymore. Okay, you know what? We're gonna let the Scorchers win. I honestly don't know how I'm going to be able to kill off these Scorchers. Okay, wait, we're gonna try this one more time. Instead of, sh we're just gonna let them go. We're not gonna shock. I guess I could use some smoke. Yeah, we're gonna use some smoke. Wound him a bit. Then let the smoke wear off and I, I, I honestly want every troop to lose so I can say every troop lost against these prototypes. So, we'll drop a flare up here and get a smoke down. <laughs> I'm so evil. Get, oh, I flared, whoops. Okay, a couple isn't going to make a huge difference. It's gonna kill off one, maybe. Uh, let's drop an artillery. <laughs> Talk about outside support. Okay, as soon as a couple go, we should be fine. And we should be able, okay, come on. Just kill off the bunch, please. <laughs> I'm gonna kill a few. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, troops. Come on, boom cannons. Dang it. Okay, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I We are going to have so much fun with these prototypes in the next week. I'm gonna retreat. I don't wanna have them win again. We're gonna have so much fun over the next couple weeks. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you guys do have a special video idea you want us to try with these prototypes, let us know down below and we will probably do it if it's good enough. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Get hyped. Bye.